Hello Taurus, welcome uh, to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates uh, for your overall situation. Let's see. Okay. So Taurus, we are connecting in this reading for you with someone who is very, very much focused on their professional life. This is someone who at the moment is prioritizing their career. They want to build certain amount of stability. And I feel that this is someone here who is telling you or who's been telling you that you need to be patient. The time it's not right. You need to wait because I am not ready financially to do certain things the thing is here that i feel that you kind of see this person or their attitude as someone who is quite childish and immature and that's very interesting because <sighs> this is someone who might be i feel for instance when when someone meet this person and have a conversation with them they see them as someone or this person is giving an impression as someone who knows exactly what they're talking about. They are very mature. Um, they have a plan, something like this. But this gives me an indication here, Taurus, that you know this person quite well. And I feel that you see, you kind of feel that it's a little bit of an, of an excuse. That kind of energy of you need to wait, you need to be patient, timing it's not right. You know, we have two energies, divine timing, patience, not the right time, wait. And that's what I am getting, that this person, it's, it doesn't want to take, oh, it's like they're giving you impression that they don't want to take this connection to the next level because they are prioritizing here something else over this connection. But it's like, I feel that you know more about this person and the circumstances and you seize them as someone who is at the end of the day very immature and very childish and they are giving you excuses you might have met this person in December January or February or those months are of significance okay of significance uh, for you or this connection for some of you you might have met this person on the social media or social media is playing a very significant role in this connection. With the winter card, it might be a case here that at the moment things are not particularly great between the two of you. This, um, there is something here about them not liking being criticized. They might have gone cold on you. You know, maybe they even ghosted you. Or you slowly withdrawing your energy. So please take it how it resonates. If that's the case, if there is no contact situation at the moment between the two of you, this person is following you. They are very, very following your activity on social media, I would say. Um, they are watching your stories. I feel this person is, you know, trying to, uh, they are keeping tabs on you. Yeah, they are observing what you're posting. Uh, I feel on a daily basis. And, you know, for some of you might not have social media. If that's not the case, if that's the case, excuse me, that you don't have social media this person is very curious they're thinking a lot about you but for some of you social media here it's it's quite significant or played quite significant role in this connection yeah you're dealing here with someone who has commitment and anxiety they are afraid of a serious relationship let's see taurus let's see We have the hermit, so there might be no contact situation. You might be dealing with Virgo. Show me more, please, for Taurus. Six of Wands, King of Swords. We have the Emperor.
four of swords the fall card four of cups nine of pentacles uh, three of pentacles eight of swords and ace of cups as an overall energy for this part of the reading um so you might be dealing indeed with virgo okay we have aquarius we have aries uh, more Aquarius, more Aries so far in this reading for you. I feel that you see this person as someone who is quite selfish and it's not working for you. Nine of Pentacles, they still, they are still are in that kind of single uh, person's mindset. I feel that you didn't kill someone who likes their independence, who likes their freedom and it feels like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. And that doesn't make you happy at all. You might be dealing with Divine Masculine or you are Divine Masculine with the Emperor but at the moment the hermit and the four of swords here suggest that uh, there is no contact situation between the two of you you might be in a hermit mode you might also kind of took a step back to rethink and reevaluate this whole situation because with the four of cups something is not working for you it's not working for you on emotional level and i feel that indeed you see this person as someone who can be quite self-focused we have six of wands, six of swords. I feel that you've tried to get this person attention in a sense of you wanted to have a serious conversation with this individual to kind of present your point of view. But this person, their reaction was very immature and they acted in a very ma immature manner, very childish manner with the fall. And it's like, well, there is nothing else I can say. If this person is acting that way three of pentacles eight of swords eight of cups yeah it's like this person it's blocking that offer of love with the ace of cups and with the three of pentacles i'm seeing them being quite busy not having much time um but at the same time I am also getting here towards someone who told you that they want to work together with you in order to build something very, very kind of, of significant, you know, stable relationship. But when it comes to seriousness of this situation, Eight of Swords suggests that this person is it's blocking that offer of love. It's like they are not coming here with this offer of love. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Taurus? Page of Cups, the Lovers, and the Two of Pentacles. The Hanged Man, Three of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. You might be dealing with Pisces. Taurus, we also have Gemini energy, Page of Cups, the Lovers and the Two of Pentacles. It feels like this person is in love with you, but they are very indecisive with the Two of Pentacles. I feel this person doesn't know what to do with all those emotions that they have for you. Page of Cups, the Lovers. Yeah, it feels a little bit like a puppy love. You might be dealing here with someone who is younger than you. Or they are just very childish and immature page of one page of excuse me page of cups page of one's energy they want to text you they want to be in touch with you page of cups the lovers in their feelings yeah puppy love they fell in love and now with the two of pentacles they don't know what to do it's like this person wants to be in a relationship with you but I feel that they are scared of a serious commitment losing that, that kind of element of their independence in a sense freedom you know it doesn't have to be that way but it's like that's how they see it I, I'm getting someone who is who is very very childish 
maybe this person never been in a serious relationship irrespective of their age you know they might be in their 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s but um it feels that this person is in love with you taurus they love you but they are very indecisive with the two of pentacles the hanged man three of wands king of pentacles yeah there is a need for them to change perspective ask themselves what they truly want what is what they truly want two of pentacles can suggest that this person on an emotional level is juggling you with their professional life or this connection with their professional life they need to change the perspective because something here is within reach and it feels like this person has been waiting for someone like you for a very long time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, page of wands, right? I was saying page of wands. <laughs> that energy was showing up. They want to send you a message. That's what I meant. That's what I said, yeah. They want to send you a message. They want to talk. Could you please show me how this person sees this whole situation? Their perspective, please. Knight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. The Moon three of cups this person doesn't know if they want friendship or something casual or, or, or relationship they are very conflicted here very conflicted oh it's like they they know that they need to make a decision and they need to make a choice because three of cups suggests here that you might be dealing here with someone who likes uh, their friends, but in the sense of going out a lot, you know, meeting new people, having fun. That's what I am getting. But with Ten of Pentacles, it's a serious relationship. How they see it? Well, they do want... Here's the thing. It's so confusing about this person, Taurus, even for me as a reader, because Knight of Swords suggests that they do want to chase an idea of a stable long-term relationship with the Ten of Pentacles but when they have moments of doubt with the moon they don't know if it's the right direction or actually if they prefer you know having something casual or to kind of cherish their independence and and, and having fun with their friends and you know cherishing their freedom you might be dealing with Leo. We have Pisces. Uh, also, there is a Cancerian energy. Strength, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. For some of you, <laughs> this is someone who indeed is in love with their work. But lack of balance and like a mature approach towards this whole situation it's kind of I feel it's really kind of it raised your eyebrow there, there is a lack of balance when it comes to this person their attitude regarding relationships and other things because it just need to but yeah that's the thing this is someone who needs to want to bring balance to the situation that's why I feel that you see them as someone who is immature because you see, you see, you know, you, you know this person's ways. You just know the way they are. And I feel that you see everything as an excuse. Strength, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. They're very passionate about you. This is someone here who wants to be very diplomatic, who wants to kind of tell you that they do want to work. And when the time is right, they will come forward with an offer of love. Because strength is also that kind of energy of holding back and being very diplomatic about something.
Could you please show me Tauruses? You might be dealing with another Taurus. How Taurus sees this situation? Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Give me one more. Taurus's perspective. Two of Swords. Okay. Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands. Five of Wands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel that you are quite annoyed or like frustrated with this person. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Yeah. I feel that you see this connection. It's like, I feel that you see a potential when it comes to this connection with the Hierophant and Ace of Pentacles. Six of, but, but at the same time, it's like this person is giving to another situation. Like they may, what I mean by this, it's they might be contributing more time, attention. And I feel this is this professional life that they are focusing on a career or maybe, you know, a lifestyle. And two of swords it's like it's a double-edged sword situation i feel that you are at the crossroads actually at the moment taurus because um i feel that you want to see progress and uh this whole situation a lack of action from this person's side because seven of one suggests that this person is very defensive or it's like they are pushing away the idea of taking any significant action it's frustrating you with the five of wands that's why at the moment you might be feeling like, mm, I don't know, I need to think about this. I feel like it is a double edged sword situation. I am at the crossroads because maybe it's better for me to just move on from that situation because nothing is happening. But I'm getting that you would like you if, if this person was able to find balance and stop being guard, guided by the fear of a serious relationship I feel that you would love to be in a relationship with this individual because it's like I'm getting here that you don't want to lose an opportunity to be you know to, to lose opportunity with this person but at the same time nothing here is happening and it's frustrating you. So I feel that at the moment you're at the crossroads. Could you please show me the outcome? Three of Swords. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. I don't know, Taurus. I need to be honest with you. When it comes to a near future, I'm not see I, I don't see here much of a change when it comes to this situation. And I need to be honest with you. Four of Pentacles suggests here that this person is very set in their ways. They are quite stubborn and, you know, they are holding on to you but they are holding back at the same time and with the three of swords and seven of swords I feel that the situation really it's day by day it's making you it's bringing more and more emotional dissatisfaction and disappointment because I feel that I feel that you are heartbroken over this situation at the moment and it's like with the seven of swords i feel that you see this person it's someone sneaky you know they are hiding certain things they might have secrets they they don't they are not fully transparent they are holding back a lot ace of cups nine of wands ten of swords as an overall energy for this reading yeah i feel this whole situation here is surrounded by is 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 about this ace of cups which is that offer of love that this person there is a need for them to to make in order to to see things kind of you know to see a progress when it comes to this connection but with the nine of wands this is someone who has uh, who's very guarded who has trust issues and with the ten of swords you might feel like well there is nothing else i can do
you know of course energy is fluid it can change any time but at the time of this reading uh, i'm not seeing here much change i'm not seeing this person coming with an offer of love like a precise offer of love i'm seeing them giving you a little bit of attention affection time but when it comes to solid offer of love i'm not seeing that no for some of you if there is no contact situation it feels here that this person is going to reach out to you with the ace of cups but i'm not seeing them reaching out as a huge breakthrough regarding the situation at all it's like they will message you you will exchange some messages and you know it's just i don't know it's 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 awkward it's awkward a little bit it's just odd because they it feels like they are in love with you but when it comes to near future immediate future i'm not seeing here a much change i see this person being quite you know it's like they want relationship but they are s kind of scared to make that decision and to be in a serious commitment they like their independence they like their lifestyle they finding some sort of excuses there is something here about you know their professional life that is priority for them um, yeah however i see this person reaching out but in order to see and i see them having you know serious feelings for you but in order to see a significant change indeed you might have to wait a little bit longer here taurus because that message of them reaching out to you the cards here are suggesting that it won't bring any significant change or any kind of breakthrough situation some you know that kind of breakthrough uh, energy is not showing up here however if you've been wondering if this person loves you they do it feels like they do Taurus I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly truly appreciate you Taurus have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day and once again thank you very much for being with me I am sending you much much love Till next time, take care. Bye.